Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call, please. Councilmember Irby? Here. Councilmember Burkett? Here. Councilmember Wassinger? Here. Councilmember O'Mara? Here. Councilmember Dolan? Here. Councilmember Stanger? Here. Councilmember Quinn? Madam Chair, we have a quorum. Okay. Approval of the journal. I move for the approval of the journal of the meeting of January 21st, 2014. Second. Mm -hmm. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? <clears throat> Motion carries. The journal is approved. We have no bid openings this evening, so we'll move to communications. Madam Chair, there are no tax compromises, zoning matters, or Golden Bridge matters this evening, so move to other communications. Under other communications, item number one, all districts. Receive and file, and that will be the order. Item number two. Excuse me. Receive, file, and the county counselor be directed to prepare the appropriate legislation, and that will be the order. Item number three, third district. Same motion. So ordered. <coughs> Item number four, seventh district. Receive and file. So ordered. Item number five, sixth district. Receive file on the planning commission, hold a public hearing to consider amending the zoning ordinance in accordance with the proposed recommendations. So ordered. Item number six. Receive file and the county councilor be directed to prepare the appropriate legislation, and that will be the order. Item number seven, seventh district. Same motion. So ordered. <laughs> Item number eight, third district. Same motion. So ordered. Item number nine, fourth district. Same motion. So ordered. Item number 10, first district. Receive file and the county councilor be directed to prepare the appropriate legislation, and a copy of this report be sent to the city of Jennings, and that will be the order. Item number 11, 4th District. See, file and a county council be directed to prepare the appropriate legislation. A copy of this report be sent to the city of Parson. So ordered. Please read the add ons. Item number 1, 5th District. See, file and the change of owner be approved as requested. There's Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Motion carries. Aye. Item number 2. Okay, receive, file, and the county council be directed to prepare the appropriate legislation, and that will be the order. Item number three, fourth district. Same motion. So ordered. Item number four, fifth district. Same motion. So ordered. Okay. Uh, county executive, do you have any reports? Well, Madam Chair, I'm happy to announce the appointment uh, Robert Horton as manager of the diversity programs in St. Louis County. Mr. Horton has more than 20 years of experience in business, diversity, and procurement programming. Mr. Horton will have the responsibility to, for reviewing existing diversity and inclusion efforts throughout St. Louis County government from personnel to procurement. Being inclusive is not just policies and procedures. We are building a culture where diversity is part of our business model. I believe he is exactly the right person to help us strengthen our inclusion efforts and develop a first-rate program in St. Louis County. Hiring Mr. Horton is the, first no is the first of a number of steps to put our collective efforts into one strong program. Mr. Horton, you want to stand up? Okay. Thank you. Okay. There are no reports of special committees this evening, so we'll move to the public forum. We have three speakers. Please ask you to keep your comments to about three minutes, and uh, the uh, GM will let you know when your three minutes are up. The first speaker is Jenny Schrapen. Schrapen. Hello, my name is Jenny Schrapen, and I am living in the sixth district where the Ameren UE and Coal Ash Ponds are located. I am the, aware of the risks and hazards that abound because of the burning of the coal. I know that people think coal is cheap, but it is dirty and thus dangerously costly. The location of this plant, built in 1953, 
is past re retirement age. It is in close proximity to one of Melville's newest elementary schools, where my two great nephews attend. I worry about the health of the children in the school as well as the teachers. We know that the groundwater is impacted as well as the air as it drifts. So the dangerous and hazardous environment is not confined to just South County, but travels way beyond these limits, out into North County and West County. I want the County Council and Ameren UE to step up and do something that will correct this situation so that those of us residing anywhere in the county are not in the line of fire. Lives are at stake here. This is not a whim. A date should be set for the retirement of the plant. It has served its purpose and needs replacement. The DNR should place water monitors in the area and not take two years to do as was the response I was given when I first made the request. There is a pending lawsuit as further proof of the air problem. Ameren's own reporting shows that over 3,600 violations <coughs> of the Clean Air Act, excess opacity emissions, have happened at Merrimack since 2008. The recent spill in West Virginia should be a wake-up call. South County is on the same track to disaster. Thank you. Sharon Bertram. <clears throat> After Sharon is Lisa Finette. I'm Sharon Bertram, and I live in the 6th District. Thank you for the opportunity to speak to you this evening as a resident of St. Louis County and also as a member of the Sierra Club. There is a saying, what you don't know won't hurt you. Well, what we don't know does hurt us. Just ask the people in West Virginia who didn't know about the chemical leaking into their water supply and just ask the people in Bridgeton about the landfill that's defiling their air and who knows what it's doing to the ground. And what about the nuclear waste stored there? Today it was reported that the radioactivity is, surprise, higher than previously stated. Surprise. What we didn't know, of course, won't hurt us. And so this brings us to the coal-fired Ameren power plants, which uh, give us about 70% of our generated electricity from burning coal, and of course, the toxic byproduct, coal ash. This ash, stored in ponds along the Missouri and Mississippi rivers, threatens drinking water and nearby fields where people recreate and where food is grown. The byproducts of burning coal threaten the health and well-being of St. Louis County residents like you and me. Illinois requires Ameren to test groundwater at its coal ash sites. This ash waste has caused groundwater contamination in violation of federal and state standards at five plants in Illinois. Ameren is forced to test the groundwater there, but not in Missouri. I'm asking you, members of the St. Louis County Council, to make sure that groundwater around Ameren plants is tested and that corrective measures are taken to preserve the health of our citizens. No one should drink tainted water and breathe dirty air. You are our elected officials. Please verify that studies of the air and water in the areas of the Ameren coal burning plants are done. Call on Ameren to take swift and meaningful steps to reduce its reliance on coal and transition to greater energy efficiency and renewable sources of energy and ensure a better quality of life for us all. 
Thank you. Thank you. Lisa. Um, I want to talk to you guys today about um, there was an article that was written um, under the new Beacon Public Radio merger that states that St. Louis Pulitzer puts on a drag show amid celebration of LGBT history. And this is our history museum putting on a drag show and this is just the kind of thing that I come here and talk about to you guys that the church and Christians should not have to pay for this. This to me is disgusting and repulsive and I should not have to fund it. And now under your public-private partnership that none of these are working out and we're actually talking about merging with the city? Again, why? And why aren't there any questions that are ever answered here? You know, the other article here is report critical of ZMD adopted by St. Louis Aldermatic Committee. Again, because they're saying nothing is working. Nothing is working with these districts that you guys are partnershiped with. This does not work for the church. This does not work for Christians. This does not work for me. I mean, you want to put Christianity out of the public square, but you're willing to have a drag show on my tax dollars. And I can guarantee you it's my tax dollars. Okay, it's mine. And that's repulsive to me. And I'd like to know why this is okay to anyone here, anybody can say anything about this. You're supposed to be holding them accountable. This is your partnership with the city. This is your partnership with Mayor Slay with ending homelessness that I still haven't heard anything about because that's up next year. But this is all of your responsibility. It's, you know, Mr. Stanger, I hear all the time how you want more transparency and accountability. But you don't seem to give it. You don't seem to ask for it on this council. Here's a perfect opportunity to ask for something under this public-private partnership, but you don't seem to care. I mean, there's no caring of this. Uh, the new library that they're talking about now. You know what type of money that they actually want? You, you guys are talking about spending for the library? It's, it's tons and tons and tons more than the people that Corey Azu just spent in the same time frame, tons more. And yet, you don't talk about the accountability there. I don't see anybody asking for an audit or, or a, a second opinion. I don't understand what's going on here. But I do understand that we're talking about merging even more. And if we're talking about merging even more, shouldn't you get this right first? Shouldn't you get some of these partnerships that you already have with them right first? And why would somebody just tell me why I have to fund a drag show? Please tell me, because I'd love to know. Thank you. Introduction of bills. Bill number nine introduced by Council Member Irby and ordinance authorizing the county executive to execute a contract and annual renewals with Rana L. Alanis doing business as Muni Financial for accounting services in connection with the comprehensive annual financial report, the retirement plan financial statement, and the single audit report. Bill number 10, introduced by Council Member Irby, an ordinance amending Chapter 104, Title I, St. Louis County Revised Ordinances 1974, as amended offices and officers by adding one new section pertaining to the duty of the Administrative Director to furnish tax impact statements and notices of hearings to political subdivisions related to tax abatement for Urban Redevelopment Corporation. Bill number 11, introduced by Council Member O'Mara, an ordinance amending Chapter 1120, Title 11, St. Louis County Revised Ordinances. 1974 as amended abatement of public nuisance by repealing and reenacting sections 1120.020 and 1120.070 pertaining to public nuisance regulations and amending chapter 716 title 7 St. Louis County Rise Ordinances 1974 as amended petty offenses code by repealing and reenacting sections 716.300 and 716.310 pertaining to public nuisances. Bill number 12, introduced by Council Member Irby, an ordinance amending ordinance number 17,010 by repealing and reenacting section 3 pertaining to PC 146-93, Southwestern Bell Mobile Systems Incorporated. Bill number 13, introduced by Council Member O'Mara, an ordinance amending ordinance number 25,348 by repealing and reenacting section 2 <coughs> pertaining to PC 27-12, Keeping the Faith Ministry. 
Bill number 14, introduced by Councilmember O'Mara, an ordinance approving an application and preliminary plans for development in the R1 Residence District, the NU Non-Urban District, and the FPNU Floodplain Non-Urban District of Attractive Land as a landmark and preservation area subject to conditions, PC 40-13, Elizabeth Parker. Bill number 15, introduced by Councilmember O'Mara, an ordinance amending the St. Louis County Zoning Ordinance and District Maps by changing the boundaries of the 3C Shopping District and the C8 Plan Commercial District and approving the application and preliminary plans for the development and amended development in the C8 Plan Commercial District of Attractive Land subject to conditions PC 46-13, Parker 367, LLC. Madam Chair, that is all the bills. Thank you. Perfection of bills. Bill number 8, 2013, introduced by Councilmember O'Meara. Oh, please. So order. Bill number 234, introduced by Councilmember Dolan. I move to perfect bill number 234. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? <clears throat> Motion carries. Bill number 234 is perfected. Bill number 8, 2014, introduced by Councilmember Irby. I move to perfect bill number 8. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Bill number eight is perfected. Final passage of bills. Substitute bill number one for bill number 181, introduced by Councilmember O'Mara. Madam Chair, we have a substitute bill. Uh, please read. Substitute bill number two for bill number 181, introduced by Councilmember O'Mara. An ordinance amending Chapter 1108, Title 11, St. Louis County Revised Ordinances 1974 as amended Mechanical Code by repealing and reenacting Sections 1108.050, 1108.100, 1108.200, .100, 1108.200, pertaining to various provisions of the Mechanical Code. Move for the adoption of subs substitute Bill Number 2 for Bill Number 181. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Substitute bill number two for bill number 181 is adopted. That's all. That's okay. uh, bill number 330 introduced by Council Member Burkett. Uh, I move for final passage of bill number 330. Second. Roll call. Council Member Irby. Aye. Council Member Burkett. Oh, uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Let me back up. May I back up? Uh, hold. Please hold. Okay. Bill I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Bill number 330 is go. <coughs> bill number six introduced by Council Member Stanger. Move for final passage. Bill number six. Second. Roll call. Councilmember Irby? Aye. Councilmember Burkett? Aye. Councilmember Wassinger? Aye. Councilmember O'Mara? Aye. Councilmember Dolan? Aye. Councilmember Stanger? Aye. Councilmember Quinn? Aye. Madam Chair, on Bill Number 6, there are seven ayes. Bill Number 6 is finally passed. Bill Number 7, introduced by Councilmember Stanger. I move for final passage, Bill Number 7. Second. Roll call. Councilmember Irby? Aye. Councilmember Burkett? Aye. Councilmember Wassinger? Aye. Councilmember O'Mara? Aye. Councilmember Dolan? Aye. Councilmember Stanger? Aye. Councilmember Quinn? Aye. Madam Chair, on Bill Number 7, there are seven ayes. Bill Number 7 is finally passed. I'm sure moving on to resolutions, we have five this evening. Resolution number one, introduced by Council Member Wassinger. I move to adopt resolutions number one through four. Second. Roll call. Council Member Irby? Aye. Council Member Burkett? Aye. And I believe on uh, resolution number one for the Barthel Mass family, I believe Scott is still one of our employees in the city of Overland oh, as really? a police officer. Mm -hmm. so, with that, I vote aye. Councilmember Wassinger? Aye. Councilmember O'Mara? Aye. Councilmember Dolan? Aye. Councilmember Stanger? Aye. Councilmember Quinn? Aye. <coughs> Madam Chair, on resolutions number one through four, there are seven ayes. Motion carries. Resolutions number one, two, three, and four are adopted. Resolution number five, introduced by Council Members O'Mara, Dolan, and Stanger. I move for adoption of resolution number five. Second. A second. Oh, I'm he's seconded. Wait. I second. Oh, he seconded. You, uh, okay. I thought you someone had down there. I Madam thought Chair. I saw the. I thought I saw my name on there as well before. Yeah. Yes. It's not on there now. 
Madam Chair, I'd like to be added to the resolution as well. I think the official one has all seven, okay. does it not? Good. I thought okay, we did. Good. I saw the other yeah, one. The official one does. It, it does. Oh, okay. It was came okay. later okay. after we had sent it down. Okay. Uh, where are we? Um, do we do roll call? Roll call. Councilmember Irby? Aye. Councilmember Burkett? Aye. Councilmember Wassinger? Aye. Councilmember O'Mara? Aye. Councilmember Dolan? Aye. Councilmember Stanger? Aye. Councilmember Quinn? Aye. Madam Chair, on resolution number five, sponsored by all seven council members, there are seven ayes. Uh, resolution number five, five is adopted. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to unfinished business, item number one. Uh, hold on the order of business. Uh, there's a committee of the whole regarding the appointment of, of, the, uh, of Bishop Lawrence Wooten to the Board of Police Commissioners. Scheduled for Tuesday, February 4th at 4.30 p.m. Madam Chair, moving on to new business, we have one prepared order this evening. I move for adoption of order number one. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Order number one is adopted. Move we adjourn. Thanks. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Meeting is adjourned.